Welcome everybody to another Wild Savannah video. Today I decided to play one of the most underrated herbivores in my opinion in the game, the Warthog. Now this animal although small is pretty fast and as soon as you will see pretty fun to play against other smaller carnivores. So without further ado, grab your popcorn or even a snack and let's just jump straight into the video. Today, different from the other videos, we are playing as a herbivore. In this case, a small warthog. And we start a little journey on server number one. Which I was like, pretty excited because as a herbivore and with the mechanics in Wild Savannah, I think there would be a pretty cool chance of having cool fights, cool chases. And because we are small, if they decide to pounce us, or in this case, succeed, then it will be a very problematic thing for us. So we have to be very careful on our approach and very good on our dodges. Throughout the past 10 minutes, I was just roaming around the map and I didn't really find anything that could either chase me or catch me. So I decided to go to the most known area, which I don't really know the name for now. I decided to follow this buffalo in hopes of maybe making a friendship. But as soon as I arrived to the place, we had a little bit of action. Our first worthy opponent, a adult cheetah, capable of matching us with her speed, this was a very good match. But unfortunately for her, we were pretty agile. After that first encounter, I was hoping of something more exciting, a longer chase. And while I was minding my own business, I came across a group of two herbivores being chased by a hyena group. Which immediately they decide to turn on me because I was an easy prey. But unfortunately for the hyenas, they do have the stamina, but they don't have the speed. I do have to be honest with you guys. I stood at that place for about 5 minutes. And although there was a lot of carnivores around, none of them were interested in chasing me or even try to fight me. And I've been playing Wild Savannah for three days, and I do have to say that although this game has the mechanics, the sound, and of course, the ambience, this game is not really a animal survival game. Because throughout the hours that I've played, I've seen a lot of people just focusing in PvP rather than surviving. In this server one, there were just a lot of lions, a lot of herbivores just trying to fight instead of actually survive to the point where you would see just a herbivore spawn and then run into the high populated areas to just fight lions and do pvp and this sort of stuff it's what makes me sometimes want to quit some animal survival games because people are just playing this game for the pvp but not for the survival and with that it was time for us to switch to server number two which there we had a lot more fun than server number one In server number 2, as soon as I spawned, I got chased, I got chased by a male lion. And because I know that male lions can't really chase a warthog, I decided to taunt and become a problem. Every time you hear me one call, that's just me mocking my enemies because as soon as I got the upper hand, it was time for me to chase the hyena and turn everything around. 
but it would suddenly become a 3 versus 1 and a utter confusion. And I don't know if you guys can tell, I was trying to attack the hyena, but for some reason my attacks wouldn't work. So it was time for me to just leave that area because the only animal that was able to catch me was the cheetah. After escaping that area, I decided to rest, but because I don't really know the controls of Wild Savannah yet, I panicked a little bit because I couldn't get up and the cheetah had a pretty good upper hand on pouncing me, but luckily, she didn't. Making me escape with my life. After walking for about 10 minutes, and socializing with a zebra and a wildebeest, I saw a solo leopard in the distance. So I decided to see if a solo warthog would be able to kill a solo leopard. The first tries of me trying to attack the leopard was just me testing the waters because I don't really know how the attack works, if I need to stand still or if I don't really need to run but after i got the hang of it it was just pretty fun and keep in mind if he decided to fight back he would probably get the upper hand and kill me but for some reason he didn't I know that you guys won't hear this because I play with my microphone muted, but I was laughing a lot. And I was pretty appalled and excited and confident that I could probably kill other medium to small carnivores. So I decided to went into a quest in eradicating everything that I could see. And keep in mind that this is a warthog. So one successful pounce and I would be dead. So there's a 50-50 chance of me surviving or either dying. So after resting, it was time for us to put our plan into action. I'd side roam a little bit to see if I could find a solo animal that I would be able to 1v1. It really didn't take that long to find a solo animal. In this case, we found a hyena and because she was already running, I was suspecting that her stamina would be down, making it a pretty easy target for a young warthog. I'll be honest, I don't really know how the hyena works in Wild Savannah, but I could tell that I was winning the battle somehow, and you guys will be surprised what's gonna happen next.
the hyena combat log now i don't know if she combat log she disconnected she either respawned but that took me as a surprise and i was not ready because there was a leopard chasing us and because i panicked a little bit i missed the skill shot ending our life although we die i do have to say that i was pretty proud of killing a leopard and almost beating a hyena in the 1v1 so for that i decided to do one more game into server number three so if you guys are enjoying this video until now make sure to hit that like and subscribe in server number three as soon as we spawn i decide to migrate and cross the river up until now i do have to say that i was enjoying pretty much playing as the warthog i know that this animal probably is not your guys favorite but it's pretty fun to see this little animal into action some of you might know this as the warthog some of you might know this as pumba and we actually found another warthog out of nowhere i'll do have to be honest this is not script i don't know how i was not expecting of finding another warthog there with two we will be able to eventually kill almost everything so after a small introduction we decided to eat a little bit because we were being eyeballed by two lions and i don't know if you guys can find the second one because he's sneaking around somewhere leave down in the comments below where is the second lion so we stood very still pretending that we couldn't see those lions as soon it was time to run A female lioness came out of nowhere, almost pouncing our friend. But because we do have the speed and the agility, we managed to escape and, after all, mock them because they were n nowhere near of catching us. But those lions were not done yet. We decide to crouch. Almost looks like we're just proning and walking through the grass, but sadly, we don't have the camouflage that some predators do. But we do have the speed. I do have to say that finding a random warthog made this gameplay for me 10 times better. I don't know if it's about the animal or if it's about the gameplay itself, but it's just too much fun. So we venture out into the next place, which surprisingly, there were more lions. This time, two lioness trying to kill a solo leopard. Now I had a simple question in my brain. I was able to flip leopards, 
I was able to flip hyenas. Would I be able to flip a adult lion? So I decided to test that theory. She was exhausted from the previous fight, making it pretty easy for us to attack her. But we have to be very careful to not get caught. I'll tell you this, that female lioness was not really happy with our performance, because 3 minutes later, they decided to chase us. But because they were far away, there was no chance whatsoever of them catching us. But we have to be very careful. You don't really know what's gonna happen. We stopped for a little drink and it was here where they finally catched up on us. I knew that there was two lioness and I was trying to search for the second one because I don't want to be surprised by anything. Our friend got pounced, and I was trying very hard to attack the lioness to unpounce it, but I think this animal is still in development because the attacks were not really working. But lucky, he had the skill to escape the jaws and the claws. With this, I had a lot of fun playing the warthog. I do hope you guys have a chance of playing this animal. Thank you very much for watching guys, I'll catch you guys in a next video. Have a like, a comment for the YouTube algorithm, and a subscribe if you guys are not yet subscribed. Peace.